Hello, everyone, and welcome to the weekly wrap up for this day, Friday, December 15th, 2023. Well, we got a lot of information as always to cover. It's like drinking from a fire hose, so let's hop right into it. So the feds, as you know, this week paused interest rates, but will continue to resolve to lower interest rates in 2024. They're trying to paint the narrative that's a good thing, but what it really means is the economy's dead and the dollar's done. The more that they drop those rates, it's to save face, but the economy will have already been in a free fall tank. Like President Trump said, recession will be the nice word. Argentina Peso, as you know, we reported this week, a breaking news on Wednesday, um, Javier Malay, their new president, has dropped the Argent Argentinian Peso by 50%. The reason he's dropping the, that currency and they're going to go with a new one in 2024, which will certainly be asset backed. Somalia did secure on Wednesday a $1.5 billion in debt relief. We know that's Chisara. Uh, Metro Bank, I, I believe this bank overseas, has major outages that affect all accounts. And we also saw that Rumble went down briefly this week on Monday. That was certainly a narrative for the cyber attack that's coming and the uh, solar flares that we reported uh, this morning on our Telegram channel. Robert Kiyosaki continues to push the narrative about the catastrophic crash that's coming for 2024, which will make the 1929 crash look like a small blip, because in this case, it's global. Here's some new information that came across our desk this morning from a trusted friend, uh, Burkina Faso, which is a country that's sandwiched right in between Nigeria and Ghana, is going to begin in 2024 to mine their own gold, much to the dismay of the U.S. and France which just goes to reinstate the point we've been making that uh, Africa certainly does have the lion's share of gold throughout the world. Uh, we reported this morning at a major global shift in finance, over 130 countries, including OPEC members, are summarily moving away from the US dollar in terms of oil and gas trade. And uh, one last uh, update here, oil is down, for, uh, down right now under $80, however, when Iran starts to interfere in a business affairs throughout the world, we will see oil spike easily to $200 plus. So if I were you, not a financial advisor, but I myself am buying certain oil stocks, uh, not necessarily the commercial ones that we know, but certain offshore companies, I'd be looking into oil stocks if you're going to be in the market at all in oil for next year. That pretty much wraps it up, folks. I just want to say on a personal note, I pray you are having a great Christmas and holiday season that you're staying safe and no doubt busy preparing for your families for uh, the next week and a half and the remainder of the year. In terms of the information that we provide, I would just suggest to all of you faithful followers, treat this like a buffet. Enjoy the, the information that resonates with you. For those of you who it doesn't resonate, leave it for someone else. You don't need to make negative comments. It's not appreciated or needed here. Just move on to someone else or something else. We're gonna keep it positive and focused here, giving you the best information possible. That wraps it up for now. If anything breaks, we'll get back to you. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. God bless and take care.